Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining this webinar and welcome to another of our sessions. Today, it is all about strategies, tips and tricks to help you increase learner engagement with training. I know that this is a hot topic, so join us if you want to see how you can offer training that your learners will not miss using Talent Dilemmas. So let's get right into this. My name is Theo. I am part of the customer education team, and I will be hosting this session today alongside our expert, Mary. Hi, everybody. I'm Mary. I'm the customer education manager, and today I will help Theo with this presentation, and I will show you some tips and tricks to follow as an admin in Talent LMS. Exactly. And we will hear from Mary a lot more in a little while, but now let's see what we have in store for you today. So today we will see how you can create courses that your learners would look forward to complete. And then we will see how you can reward training participation. Of course, we're here to share everything we know. So you will hear tips and tricks to boost engagement while you prepare the training you need. And don't forget, we always have a live Q&A at the end of our session. So that will not be an exception. At the end, we will answer your questions. So use the Q&A button if you would like to ask us any question about Talent LMS. Of course, you can ask your questions anonymously if you want, but really we would love to know your name so we can talk directly to you. And remember, the session is already recorded and you will receive the recording once the webinar is over. Feel free to share it with anybody who wants to boost learner engagement with training. Now, Let's see a few things right here. And what we have to actually make sure is that we bring employee retention in the spotlight. Employee retention is a hot topic here, and it's very important for companies to invest in their people and to put training at the core of those efforts. And actually, that is exactly what the employees want. How do we know? We actually asked them. So we conducted the research Talent LMS research that shows that 76% of employees are more likely to stay with the company if continuous training exists. So you got it. To engage the learners in training, you need to make sure that the content that you provide to them is exactly what they're looking to receive. And by providing great training, the employees would likely remain with you along the way instead of just jumping ship when they want to learn more and progress. Let's see a few trends that we have identified, again, based on research that we conducted. 56% of Generation Z employees prefer to have training that is primarily in video format. That is very important because video is something that we daily consume, right? Social media and even just relaxing, we very often go to video content. So why not have that as part of training as well? And then the other thing. 37% of, again, employees who have participated in, into the research that we conducted agree that quizzes and knowledge checks helps them identify their gaps and see if they have been already trained on something or they need to spend more time on that. So make sure that you include knowledge checks, multiple choice, drop um, drag and drop or fill in the gaps, all of those different types of questions that are available in Talent LMS as part of your training so that way learners, again, check what they know at any time. And something not so popular yet, but we really believe that it will start getting more uh, traction. That is role play. 17% of the employees participating in the survey prefer role play practice scenario in the training. And trust me, that is something that Talent LMS can offer. And we love that, especially for maybe customer facing jobs and trainings. So yes, you will see how you can do it using assignments in Talent LMS. And finally, 56%, more than half, 56% of Gen Z employees want to see gamified training. They believe in gamification, they love earning points, and they really love getting rewards based on how they engage with the content. So again, why not offer a system that will keep them on track with the training and have them have fun as well while doing it? I know that this is a lot of data, so I'm going to pass the mic to Mary to see how we can comply with the learner's requ requirement in Talent LMS. And I'm going to share in the chat two resources that I, ha I have been referring to if you want to have a look at the research yourself. Great, so follow along. We're entering the Talent LMS platform as an instructor, and let's discuss first how you can upload your content. And you heard the data, 56% uh, of the employees would like to have more videos. 
So um, actually, I'm not gonna uh, talk about videos myself. I'm gonna ask Carly Mary to explain what you can do with videos. Thank you, Mary. So I will explain how you can use the video functionality in Talent LMS. When you create a video, you can use a YouTube video. So either just type the keyword and we'll bring the relevant videos on your screen so you can pick the one that you want or just paste the YouTube link. You also have the option to upload your own video. And if you have a presentation, Talent LMS will convert to a video. Now, what will be the best way to complete a video unit? We would recommend the after a period of time because you will see the options button, click on that, and there you can have uh, the ability to synchronize the timing with the video. So if the video lasts for like 30 seconds, there's gonna be a timer at the bottom of the screen. When the time is up, the learner will complete the unit and move on to the next unit. You can also pause the video automatically every time a user is changing their tab. We want learners to stay here the entire time, so if they try to move away from the video, the video will freeze, and when they come back on the screen, the video will play. You can also add your own captions, so you will have like some subtitles at the bottom of the screen, and use your own poster image. Sometimes when you upload a video, you will see a not very flattering thumbnail on the screen, so you can replace that with your own image. I hope it helps, and back to you, Mary. Uh, that was curly, Mary. So let's continue. Um, the data said uh, that we would like uh, to have also tests and assignments in order to check the knowledge of the users. This is what actually employees have requested. And uh, you can use Talent LMS, the built-in features that you can find in Talent LMS. Just click on the add button when you're creating your course, when you're adding your content, and you will find the option to create either a test or an assignment. So let's go first to the test. I'm gonna use one of the existing tests I have so I can show you more things. On the right side of the screen, when you create a test, you will find all the types of questions that you can use, like multiple choice, fill the gap, and you also have the option to create a randomized test. Uh, for example, if you create a multiple choice, you will need to add your question here, all the possible answers, define which is the correct one, and you can also share some feedback at the end of the test perhaps, and organize your questions using tags. When you create the question, it's gonna be added on the test. So if you see that, the grid button saying it's added, then the question is added to the test. You can also reuse questions so you can save time. For example, if you have questions in other courses, just click on this button and you will see how the screen changes now. You can have all the questions on the left and you know from which course it comes. So if there's something you would like to add to this test, you just need to click on this button. So now we have four questions. On the right side of the screen, you can also change the order the questions will appear and also update their weight, but spend a little bit more time here in the test options. Here you can set the duration if you want to add a limit, a time limit to that test. So until 20 minutes, the learners can uh, answer all the questions and the passing score. If you want, you can also allow learners to repeat the test especially if they don't pass, so they can try over and over again. Uh, otherwise, you can set a limit right here. Uh, or uh, even if you want your learners just to get a better score, maybe they pass the first time with 85%, but they would like to try again to get the 100% uh, percent score. You will also find settings on what the learners will see after submitting the task. Can they see their answers? Can they see the score? And also set the behavior. Can the learners move back and forward to change answers? And of course, you can add a description if you want to. This is going to be a message that will appear before starting a test and a different message when they pass or when they fail. So this is the automated way, let's say, to check the knowledge of your users. And we say that because the learners will now have to uh, pass the test and the score and everything will be automatically calculated by our system. So you don't have to do anything. You just need to go to reports and there you will find the results. So that's one way. Another way is to use the assignment option, which is great for role playing, um, especially if you hire new people, let's say, uh, you can add here a scenario and then ask the employee to submit an answer with a file perhaps, or by recording their answer. So just add here all the information that you want and you can make it more personalized. You can even use tags. Uh, this is right here. 
So you can call the user with a first name and the moment they read the assignment, they will see here their name. And uh, before you complete the assignment, just make sure how you want the assignment to be completed. Either we can um, wait for the learners to submit their answer and then the instructor will have to review the answer. So if you choose that, the learners will submit an answer, the instructor must check that and then provide some score feedback and change the status of the learner that they have passed or failed the assignment. Or if you don't have the time to do that, you can accept the answer the moment it's uploaded. This will save you time. Whenever you're available, you can come back, check the answer of the user and change the status if you want to. So let's use the first one and let's preview how the learner would look at this assignment. So you see my name, the details that I need for the assignment, and I have many different ways to reply. Uh, I can prepare myself, record my um, answer somewhere outside of Talent LMS and then upload the file or save time and record the answer right away in Talent LMS. And there are many different ways actually to uh, create a course. We do recommend using different types of units. That's what will make it a lot of interesting uh, and complete courses uh, here in Talent LMS. But we don't want them just to complete courses. We really want them to be engaged with the entire platform. And let's now move to gamification. That's the best way to engage users. As an admin, make sure that you go in account and settings and click gamification. If this is enabled, you're already using that. And you give points to users when they perform specific actions. You can also uh, allow them to unlock badges when they achieve specific milestones. And they can also upgrade levels. And at the end of the day, they will have all the information on a leaderboard where they can compare their results with other learners. So we create a healthy competition between the users. They will try to use more the platform and not just by completing courses. They can get points also by participating in discussions. There are a lot of things that we will show you today. And that's right. Gamification is definitely something that you should incorporate into your training. And it's very popular among Gen Z who at the end of the day, they will be taking over the workforce in just a couple of years. Now, just remember this, training is not only self-paced. Of course, we can offer courses that people can take at their own time, but what if you had the option to use blended learning and that way increase learner engagement? Especially when we're talking in a modern workplace where hybrid environments is what we call the new normal right now. So in hybrid workplaces, we allow employees to control their own schedule. They can make their own hours, they can make their own work day, so why not give them this option as well for training? It's a good idea, right? So they can take control of their own training as well. In fact, with Talent LMS, we can provide asynchronous and real-time training so that way you can just use that for onboarding and upskilling as well. In fact, in Talent LMS, it's very easy to do that, especially when you have your meeting providers that you want to use for instructor-led training. Talent LMS allows you to integrate those. And whether you use, Zoom, you use Zoom, like we do here, Teams, or go to meeting, go to webinar, go to training, big blue button, whatever of those options your meeting provider is, you can integrate with Talent LMS and just from one place very easily and saving a lot of time, you have the option to create blended learning and instructor-led training sessions. And you figured out I'm the person that will show you how to use this in Talent LMS. So let me share my screen one more time. And as administrators, go to account and settings and click on the basic settings tab. Scroll a little bit down and here you will find the conferences section, okay? So if you're using Zoom, as Theo mentioned, or Microsoft Teams or go to meeting, go to webinar, there are so many tools here. Uh, you just need to select the tool that you're using and then follow the tips that we have here in this article to connect your account, for example, Zoom account with the profile that you have here in Talent LMS. And um, be aware that each instructor has to do that. So if you're interested to use live session as part of your training and uh, more instructors would like to do that as well, uh, each instructor has to follow the steps and connect their Zoom account with the profile they have here in Talent LMS. The connection is pretty easy, but I'm not going to stop there. Let's see actually how we're going to use this tool uh, in our course. So I'm going to go back to my instructor role and enter the course we are working on today. 
and create an instructor led training unit. This is what you need to choose from the list in order to create your live session. Uh, let's give it here a name. It's going to be a live meeting. And we're going to pick uh, from the calendar which day and time we would like to have the session. Um, the session is going to be about meeting the instructor. We want users to be uh, more uh, connected with their instructors, with the uh, managers. So let's meet uh, meeting with the instructor. Here it is. And we have chosen the day and the time. You can change this, of course. And right now, I'm the instructor. I'm creating the live session. But if I want, I can assign this to be uh, Actually, the moderator can be someone else. If we have more instructors on this course, I can assign it to a different instructor. And this will be the moderator of the session. If you still meet in offices, that's great. You can pick here to a classroom and add the meeting details. Or if we want to use webinar, and this is what I want to show you now, and use the integrated tool that you have, click webinar and then create a new webinar. When you click on that, we're going to use the tool that you have integrated with Talent LMS. So creating uh, a new webinar, in my case, will create the session on my Zoom account, actually. If you don't have a conference tool, don't worry. Talent LMS is offering to everybody uh, the integrated conference tool, which is actually Big Blue Button. It's free. Uh, you don't have to pay anything extra. It just comes with some limitations. You cannot have a live session for more than 39 learners. You can set the duration, you can add a description, and let's save the session now. Again, uh, it's a blended course, meaning that we can have videos before that, tests, assignments, Word documents, presentations, but they're going to reach a point, our learners are going to reach a point where they will find this unit, a live session. They can find here all the meeting details they need, and as learners here, they will have a different button. They will have a register button so they can book a seat for themselves alone or if you want to you can start assigning the learners of the course to the session yourself 15 minutes before the session starts the join button will become clickable and this is the moment when talent lms will direct all of your users to your meeting tool the one that they're used to have their live session so it's more familiar to them and when you're done you can come back and from the list of the users that have registered to the session, you can mark them as passed or not passed, depending on your criteria, of course. And you see how easy it is to create blended learning and create instruction-led uh, training sessions as well. But now let's see something different, because in our research, employees also said that they don't just want job-specific training. In fact, they want also non-job-specific training. And Gen Z pretty much has made it clear. They want leadership training, finance maintenance training, mental health training, soft skills, mindfulness, work-life balance training. So they want to develop skills beyond just doing your job well. So what you can do is start with courses that are already ready-made and then create your own. And the solution to that from Talent LMS is Talent Library. Talent Library is a growing collection of courses in English and Spanish. And at this point, we have over 600 courses in those collections. And they focus on soft skills, on uh, maintaining a healthy workplace, on team working skills, and all of the skills that not only benefit the learners on their day-to-day -day basis, but also help them stay confident, stay more um, stress-free as much as possible. And of course, just develop skills that they can use anywhere. So the goal is with the talent library courses to have a library that will be already there available for you. And you can always start sharing those courses right away. They are in SCORM format, they include a video, they include a quiz. Some of them have takeaway material as well. So you can really have a very robust set of courses ready-made and ready to be given out. And of course, then you can start creating your own Talent LMS courses. So if you want to see how you can get Talent Library, well, I'll pass it on to Mary again. It's right here, guys. There are two things you need to do. First, go and account the settings and check your subscription. If you have included Talent Library, you're going to find this later on Core Store and you can start selecting courses. If not, you can easily change here the filter, say that you want a plan with Talent Library on, and then you can upgrade to this uh, new plan. So after you have added Talent Library on your subscription, you will be able to go as admins 
and find on the course store our collection of courses. So here you can see uh, what we have created. Again, there are uh, animated courses using SCORM format. It's very interactive with the learners and super uh, interesting and engaging. So if you want to use one of, the, of these courses, just click to get this course and this will be added on your catalog. You don't have to though to do this one by one. Uh, if you just scroll a little bit up and you, here you'll find all of our collections, you can select uh, an entire collection, entire topic, and here you will see the get all button. So this uh, will uh, assign all the courses to your catalog. And I'm doing this for English courses. We have started uh, translating everything into Spanish as well for our Spanish speakers right here. So once the courses are added on your catalog, you still have time to edit them and work on them if you want to change something. Not the SCORM unit, of course. SCORM uh, units cannot be edited right here, but you can add your own content if you want to into these existing courses because they're automatically hidden from the catalog. Whenever you're ready, you can select to unhide them. And this moment, from that moment on, the learners will be able to find those courses on the catalog and they can pick it from themselves. And not only having your own course catalog is possible in Talent LMS, but also having this entire collection of courses on the topics that employees want to be trained right now is going to help you kickstart your training just by getting your subscription in Talent LMS. But you got the courses, you got the library courses, you got your own courses. How do you share them with the users? And in learner engagement, distribution is one of the key factors here. Do the learners get access to the catalog and they pick and choose what they want? Or do the learners get individual bundles of courses personalized to their own learning goals and their own developments? Or you can do both. Or maybe you might want to provide them personalized courses and at the same time allow them to have access to the library and get again what they want. So let's see, Mary, how can we actually distribute the courses and what groups can do for that? I gave you a spoiler there. Yeah, that's right. There are many different ways, actually. You can choose what's best for you or you can combine uh, all of these methods together. So uh, from our experience, uh, more generic courses or courses on soft skills that everybody could access should be available in the catalog. So learners can go alone and select that training. Just make sure that for those courses, let's go to courses and edit a random course to show you. This option is unchecked. So this means that the course now is available in the catalog and learners can go alone and select that course. They will be assigned to the course uh, themselves. So you don't have to do anything in that case. And it's great to give them that option. Uh, they can find courses that will help them to uh, develop their own skills. Another method is to use groups. And that's great whenever you want to create perhaps a group for a specific job role. Uh, so uh, let's go to groups right here. And for example, uh, we have the marketing job role and there are specific courses that I would like to uh, assign to all the marketeers here in the company. So let's go to the group. You can give it a name, you know that. You can add a description so everybody working on this platform will know what is the goal of this group, why we have this group here. And on the courses tab, you can select and assign the courses to the group. So you create a bundle of courses right now. And the goal is to quickly assign them to specific users. So let's scroll a little bit down or go to the next page. I have a lot of members right here. And here, I'm adding a user. I'm gonna refresh my page so you can see that on the top. Passive, here it is. And we've added a user to that group. This user doesn't have yet the course of the group. I just want to make sure that the next time the user logs in, we'll see those courses on the dashboard. So you can either synchronize the user uh, this way, and this will apply just for this user, or if you have added multiple users, you can use the mass action button. So all the members of this group will be assigned to all of the courses of this group. So again, what we have, the course catalog, they can find courses alone there. And we use groups so we can assign courses to them much faster. Uh, but again, this uh, required some actions from our side and some time from our side. If you want, there is one more method and you will have access to this feature if you're on a premium plan. And this is uh, by using automations. Uh, if you have a clear view of how you would like to assign courses to users, use the automation. It's gonna save you a lot of time. 
And for example, let me search for an event. Uh, I'm searching with the wrong keyword here, like this one. Uh, I would like every time a learner completes, let's say, uh, course number one to be assigned automatically to course number two. So you will find actions that will perform uh, by our system, actually. Uh, you just pick when you would like to assign a course to a user. And right now, whenever a learner completes this course, uh, the learner will be automatically assigned to the next one. So you don't have to go to reports and check every now and then uh, what your learners are doing in the platform. The system will identify all of these users and automatically assign them to those courses. Uh, so in an essence, you create an automatic learning path. And you can do this also for different groups. Uh, right now, this is generic. Whoever completes this course will be assigned to this one. But if you want, you can make it specific and use a filter option. So this action will apply only to the members of a group or a branch. So let's see what we have now on the screen. Whoever is on the marketing team and has completed this course, then they will be assigned to the second course. The rest, no. OK, but you can create many different automations. Every time you create an automation, you can also give it a name, save that, and you will see a nice list of all the things that the system will do instead of you. So you see, you can have both options. You can have the course catalog where people can go and get courses. You can have groups and share courses with many users and automations to really take the weight of having to do that manually from you and from your day to day schedule. But another thing as well that is very important, and when we want to make sure that everybody takes a training, we really want to make sure that everybody knows about the training. I know it sounds obvious, and I know that you will say, you know, just silently, well, how come did I think of that, right? Well, I know that you have, but have you used notifications for that? This is a question. And we get a question from our support team very often, and that question is, how do we keep learners updated about remaining and upcoming training? Because I know that's definitely you might notify them about upcoming courses, but can you set up reminders in Talent LMS about courses that need to be completed and send them again automatically to people that have not completed them? Well, communication and a clear communication pathway to be specific is very important in learner engagement. So with Talent LMS, you have the option to streamline and automate it with notifications. Definitely uh, have a look at your event engine. So even if you're new at this, when you go to event engine, you will already see some notifications set up for you, notifications that we think are important for you and to keep your learners engaged and in the loop for whatever is happening right here. So um, you can either, of course, uh, edit in order to deactivate them if you don't want to use them anymore, or you can also delete them. But what I really want to show you now is how to add your own notification. Click on the Add button and then on the Event tab, just uh, open this and you will find all the options, all the events when you can send automatically a message to the users. After a period of time, um, since the last time they logged in, after they have been created, uh, when a course has been completed, uh, but I will show you today two of my favorite events so I can remind users to complete their training. Uh, the first one uh, would be this one. If your course has a deadline, uh, a few hours before the course expires, it would be nice to notify the learners that they don't have a lot of time and they need to hurry up and complete their training before the course expires. So choose that event and then on the recipient list, select related user. Whoever is assigned to a course that is about to expire, they will receive this message. Here in hours, we need to define when the message will be sent. So a day before the course expires, they will get this notification, which is great if the course has an expiration uh, date. If it hasn't, what can we do? Well, let's go to this notification. X hours after course acquisition. We will search for all the users that have been assigned to a course, and let's say this time uh, after 10 days, so 240 hours, we're going to check if the course is still in progress and send this message. The first line is always the subject, and then you can type your body text and, of course, use all the smart tags so you can create personalized notifications. And it's only going to be sent to users that are still in progress. Whoever has completed the training will not get this notification. And it's one of, it's the only notification that you can currently uh, set up to be a recurring notification. 
So you can select how many times you would like the notification to be repeated. But again, we will stop the moment the learner completes the course, so we won't spam them. And that is how easy it is to create notifications and communicate with your learners in a timely manner, but of course, in the way that you prefer. Now, training definitely can be done on a one-to-one -one basis, but it's much more fun if you do it as a team, when it really becomes a team sport. And cognitive science have said that social learning is what really engages users. And one of the most efficient learning strategies around is when learners engage in communities. So what we encourage you to do is to allow learners to interact with each other, to share questions, share thoughts, suggest courses from one to another, and of course, reflect on the course content that they have already consumed. And yes, there is a way to do it through Talent LMS. There is a way to create a professional looking forum that will be focused only on training, but also will allow people to engage in different topics if they want to, even share attachments, even share links from the outside, and generally allow them to communicate while the instructors moderate it and, of course, are present as well. So let's see, how can we use discussions? as instructors so you can create your own topics you can see discussions right here on the right side of the screen and you can create your own topic where you can invite users to participate and talk with each other um, let's say for example that you would like to create a q a uh, topic here you can add your message you can invite users to share uh, their feedback their ideas and what you can do to improve perhaps your courses and the training uh, you can also add attachments and then here you can select who can participate. It can be um, a public topic, so everybody that has access to the main site can participate in this discussion, or you can make it specific to the members of a course or a group. Um, so they have something in common and you would like to create perhaps a forum for uh, a specific course. Learners that have completed a training perhaps should go there and talk with each other. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to select the course that we are working on here. And I created a topic just for the learners of this course. You post the discussion. This is how it looks more or less the first time. This is my comment, but someone else will join and add here uh, their own comment. Now and now another person will join and they will upload what I have said or reply directly to me or just post their own comments here. And if it's something that they would like to uh, follow, they can subscribe to the discussions and they won't miss uh, another post. So they're always in the loop. And as you saw right now, discussions is outside of the course. So you need to invite users to participate if they want to. But if you want, you can bring that in your course. And to do that, you just need to copy the link of the discussion, okay? And let's go and get this inside the course. Let's edit for one more time this course and add an iframe unit. Have you used that? If not, it's a way to embed external websites and it's also the way to bring discussions in your course. So click to create an iframe unit, paste the URL right here and click embed. We're gonna bring discussions in the course. So after videos and presentations and Word documents and tests, they will reach that point. They will see this live discussion between users and it's more likely now uh, that they will respond and you can get your nice indirect feedback. Uh, otherwise, maybe they will miss that. So we can bring that in the course. And you see with discussions, how you can create a community of learners that interact with each other within Tantalamas. But social learning also extends to social media. And you have seen those posts on social networks. I'm not gonna say LinkedIn, but I'm gonna say LinkedIn, where you see people sharing certificates about trainings that they have completed, or when you can see people sharing what they have achieved at the end, for example, of a training uh, semester. So it's always something that people want to share with their peers, want to share with their community. And adding the certificates into that post is definitely something that will make them suggest in their own way as well that this training was completed. So in Talent LMS, we have made this uh, part of the training as well, part of the core settings, and we can always share the certificates on LinkedIn in a post directly at the point that we receive it as learners. You just need to enable uh, one setting. So in account settings, click on the users tab, 
and here you will find the social options. Open that and you will find this one that allows learners to share certificates on LinkedIn. So every time they complete a course and there is a certificate issued at the moment, they can also share it on LinkedIn. So uh, they feel proud of what they have accomplished and they also make you look better. And talking about looking better, well, I'm going to show you one thing here because it's all about branding. It's all about the look that your first interaction with Talent LMS has to motivate you to jump in and see the training. And yes, I'm talking about the homepage. The homepage is the very first touch points of anybody who you invite in your account with what your account would offer. So I'm going to show you something and then you let us know. So you see this homepage, right? That is a homepage, very minimal. It does a job. It has the username, an email field, the password field, and somebody, of course, can log in right from there. Or what about instead of just having a minimal homepage, having this one? Do you recognize more that this is a branded homepage, that this is a homepage that people have associated with the identity of the company, with the identity of the training provider? So I'm pretty sure that if you had to choose, you would definitely choose the more branded one because you can connect that this is a homepage from a training that uh, has been associated with the company. So learners generally feel at home when the portal looks familiar. And you can match the homepage, you can match the theme, you can match a lot of parts of Talent LMS with your branding. So they feel that they are at home while they take the training and that they have the consistent experience alongside your any other branded element. So Mary, can you share any tips and tricks on how we can brand our Talent LMS account? Of course, I always have something to share. For example, you can quickly uh, and easily update your own logo. So uh, you go in account settings, click again the basic settings tab, and here you can upload your own logo and even upload an icon to be the favicon of your browser right here. Uh, you can change the themes. So here you can change the colors of the site, the feeling after a user has logged in. And for example, when uh, we have selected here to change the header. You just need to pick a different color. You can play around and you can see immediately how this affects your site. And when you're happy with your changes, update the theme or save it so you can use it later. Uh, you can also change the domain, the URL that you're using right now. Uh, you have noticed that you're using a talent LMS URL, but if you want, you can hide this and map a custom domain. Uh, again, I'm showing you things that you don't need to be a developer to achieve, but for this one, we need your IT that has access to your DNS settings right here, because we need to add two CNAME records in order to uh, configure the uh, mapping. And after that, you will be able to use a custom URL without Talent LMS on uh, the site. And last but not least, what you saw from uh, Theo, the homepage. From here, if you're on a paid plan, you will be able to click and create a custom homepage, the very first thing your learners will see when they visit your site. And you can use many different things like a welcome message, your own banner, uh, videos, text. If you're selling courses, you can promote them from right here. And you can also add key points to share more information. You can have up to 10 different sections and you will find all the options that you can use on the bottom of the screen. So the very first screen could be up to 10 different sections. And you can also work on the menu. So here you can add more pages that comes with their own sections or even links that will direct users to other websites. And right now you are working on the main site. If your plan supports branches, you can have also a custom homepage per branch. And another thing that will help you a lot customize Talent LMS is a webinar that we have uh, done a couple of weeks ago, which is all about branding. So in the chat right now, Mary will share with you our branding and styling talent LMS webinar. There you have an hour's worth of tips and tricks and how to's on how to brand your talent LMS. And as always, that webinar also has questions. So you can always just rely on those to maybe answer some of your own questions as well. But now let me show you something different because learner engagement doesn't have to be on a desk or in an environment that strictly has a laptop on the table. You can also take it on the go. And that is one of the key features of Talent LMS for the learners, the Talent LMS mobile app. 
it's very important to be able to take training with you anywhere. And you can do that no matter what device you have. You have an iOS or you have an Android device, no problem. Just go to the related app store and download the Talent LMS application. There, you will use the same credentials that we use when you work on your laptop or on your desktop. Just use the URL, the link to join your portal, and then your username and your password so that way you can enter. In the app, what you will see is the courses that you have already been enrolled in, and you have the option as well, depending on the course content, of course, to be able to see content of the courses offline. So even on the plane, even in the train, even in situations where you don't want to consume or use your data, you can still continue training that you have already started. Now, I know that there is a lot of questions coming up. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to thank Irini and Nick, who have been uh, answering questions uh, during the session. But now I think they can take a rest and we can always carry on. So Mary, let's do the Q&A. Again, yes, thank you, Nick and Irini, for answering questions. Let's uh, answer some of them live, OK? Uh, I've shared my screen and let's start with uh, that. How do we enable gamification in our account settings? Uh, it's just a click. Let me show you. As an administrator, if you have access to the main site, you will find account settings, and then you can click on gamification. So if this is turned off, you just click to turn it on again. And you can also uh, perhaps uh, deactivate badges. Maybe you don't want to assign uh, unlock badges when users um, achieve a specific milestone. So you don't need to use all the elements of gamification we have right here. You can deactivate specific sections or specific rules or even edit the points um, that will be awarded to users when uh, they achieve a specific action. So it's just an account of settings and you will find this as an administrator that. Uh, let's see, and another question from Danielle. Uh, with the live sessions, can you connect more than one Zoom account? So if each instructor links their own Zoom account, definitely Danielle, and this is what we recommend you doing. So um, in account settings, you just select which tool you're going to use. So everybody in the company has Zoom, but everybody has a separate uh, Zoom account. Otherwise, the live sessions and the meetings would be a mess. So each instructor then has to go to uh, the conferences tab right here. And as the article states, if you have Zoom, there is an article about this. You will need to connect your Zoom account with the profile you have in Talent LMS. So I have to do this for myself. Theo has to do this for himself. I cannot do this for Theo. OK, so each instructor can do this alone. You just go in account and settings to pick the tool that you're going to use. But then each instructor has to do this alone. Thank you, Danielle. Uh, another question from an anonymous attendee. What is the difference between automation and pathways as seen on the course profile? Uh, so the automation right here first of all it's not available to all subscriptions so you might not be able to use that unless you're on a premium plan uh, so this works automatically you need to select a rule uh, when a course has been signed perhaps when a course has been completed or when a certificate of a course has expired and then uh, assign a new course to that user and you just need to select their rules so the system will assign the courses to the users automatically um, as a learner, how that feels? Uh, well, I completed course A and then I log in again and I find course B on the screen. I have no idea what happened before that. Did the instructor add this uh, course to me? Did, that, did this happen automatically? Well, we just find a new course. So it's not all right there from the beginning. And so it doesn't feel overwhelming that I have a lot of courses to complete today. Uh, so Slowly, we assign courses to users when uh, they complete the previous course, perhaps. So this is what we have seen most customers are, are using automations for. So um, automated way. The other way is to uh, create a learning path. This is what you mean. Um, if you are referring to this feature that you can find as an instructor. Let's go to the rules and path right here. If you're talking about this path, uh, well, this will not assign the course to the user automatically. Here, as an instructor, when you enter a course and you edit here the rules and path, you set the prerequisites. 
So what we have right now on the screen, uh, we have a rule that nobody can start this course unless they have completed this training. So here you just add prerequisites. And for example, uh, how does this feel again for a learner? The learner enters the platform, he has two courses on the dashboard, he tries to start, uh, they try to start with this course, but they won't be able because of that prerequisite. They need to complete first the leading course and then they will be able to unlock the next one. So they're just unlocking courses, they're not automatically assigned to new courses and that's the difference. I hope it helps. So uh, another question comes from Amanda. When you add a new course from the course store, how do you ensure it's hidden? This happens automatically, Amanda. You don't have to worry about this. So as an admin, I have Talent Library added on my subscription. So when I go to the course store and I find a course that I would really like to use, uh, let's go on the screen. You see harnessing the power of AI. I get this course. Are you sure you want this to be added to your portal? Yes. And let's go to the info of that course. You will see that by default, the course is hidden from the catalog, so you don't have to worry. Uh, only if you uncheck this option, the learner will be able uh, to view that on the catalog and later uh, select the training. So by default, courses that are added from the course store are hidden from the catalog. Uh, another question comes from Susan. Uh, can you tell me more about FAQ tab on homepage? Definitely, this is something that you can create alone. You don't have to be a developer to do that. Uh, so as an admin, you need to go in account the settings. And if you are on a paid plan, you will be able to uh, create a custom homepage. So uh, here, you also have the option to work on the menu. And the FAQ uh, uh, tab right here, it's a page that we have created by editing the menu. So you can add right here another page, call that like um, FAQ. Uh, now, the, um, I use this word already, so probably we'll get a message you are already using that word. And you can pick when uh, you would like this to show up before users log in. So even visitors of your website can see that uh, FAQ page on the menu or only after login. So this will appear just to your users, the ones that have access to your site. I'm not going to say this. Let me just edit this one. And here you see this, uh, the FAQ uh, page where I'm working with sections. I had just added one section and I was trying to build like a small knowledge base uh, on my platform, uh, but I can add more sections uh, if I want to. I can go down, down here and add banners, text, text and media. So if you also have videos, you can uh, add this here and create a nice FAQ page within uh, your platform. If you're already using something external, you can also edit the menu and add a link. So you can direct people to your website, the page that you have already created outside of Talent LMS. And let's see, is there a way to view some of the video courses in Talent Library before upgrading? Uh, that's a question from Kimberly. Yes, uh, just send us a message. Uh, we offer 14 day trial to everybody. Uh, we just need your email address and uh, we will add you to test everything as learners. Uh, so if you like what you see, you can then upgrade to uh, a plan that supports Talent Library. It's just send a message to training team at talentlms.com. We're going to share the email uh, later as well. But yes, we are offering a free trial for 14 days. Let's see. A question from Sandra, can a user buy a course again even when the access time is over? Sandra, uh, no. Well, let me explain why. The learner goes on the catalog, finds a course with a price, and he picked that course. Uh, they just need to pay uh, for this once. Uh, the money goes directly to your account. We don't keep any fees for that action. And the course is right there for the learner. If the course has a deadline, uh, it's not, and the deadline, uh, and then the course expires, it's not being removed from the user automatically. So if you wish to learn to take this course again, you will either need to remove the learner from the course or even reset and remove the learner. So what's the difference? 
if you remove a learner from a course, but the, learn, the learner goes to the catalog and pick that training again, uh, when they purchase the course, they will find their progress as it was. So they didn't lose their previous progress because they were just removed from the course and assigned again to the same course. But maybe this is not something expected when you're selling courses. So it would be better if a learner um, has a course and the course expired to reset their progress and remove the learner. This way, if they want to take this course again, they will go to the catalog and pick the training again. And it will start from the beginning. Now, how you should know that the course has expired, you can use notifications. It's not just for learners, it's also for you, the instructors and the admins. You can send a reminder to yourself that the, uh, this learner has a course and it's about to expire. Or on the day that the course has expired, you can get a notification so you know when you have to enter the platform and do the necessary um, next steps. Let's see. Uh, another question from uh, Michael. Perhaps Theo is already typing an answer. Sorry for that. Does the site protect videos that have been uploaded from video downloading extensions? Um, so when you upload your own video, Michael, uh, learners cannot uh, download this video unless you share that video file with them. And to secure your content, we would recommend to do that, especially for videos. You can go to basic settings, and under security settings, uh, security settings right here, this section, use this option and add your logo every time you upload your own video so that your logo will appear as a watermark. And even if you try, you know, with their mobile phone to record the video, they will always have the source on the video. They're, everybody will know that came from your site. We hope they don't do that, but uh, you can add your logo as a watermark on video. And I hope this helps. Let's see more questions. I think I answered Danielle. Sorry for that. There are some questions that I've answered already. Is there, here it is, an anonymous uh, question, an option to prevent participants from enrolling in courses that they don't uh, meet the prerequisite requirements for? Users still show up in the enrollments. So um, let me see if I get this right. You want to prevent users to get some courses, but what are the requirements? Can you um, specify? In general, in Talent the Mess, you either show a course on the catalog or not. So we would recommend um, to not make the course available in the catalog, actually. Hide this course and assign it to the users you want yourself. And there are many different ways to assign courses to users. We show today how you can use groups for that, how you can automatically assign courses to users with automations. You can also do this uh, with import if you have a lot of users and by using an Excel file. So it's better to hide the course and assign to the users that you want. And let me check. Let's do one more, I think. Okay. So another question from an anonymous identity is, uh, how can we use certificates to offer compliance training? Okay, so you know that you can use certificates. Let's, let me show you, let me show you. Um, well, in account and settings, first of all, you can create your own certificates right here. Uh, let me just quickly show you that. You can upload your own background. That would be nice to have something with your logo, with your signatures. And then if you want, you can also change the text all the certificate just switch to the template tab right here and you can use all the smart tags that you want uh, on the screen to publish the name of the user the name of that course so you create your own certificates from this screen and then when you're creating a course while you're editing the course information page let's open a course right here let's go a little bit down you will find here the certificate option so now you can select the certificate you have created from account the settings and then you can set the duration now if you want this for compliance training meaning that you would like the learners to uh, repeat uh, this course over and over again you can just enable this option reassign the course to the user when the certificate expires or to ensure that they're always uh, certified a week before or a month before the certificate expires. So what the system will do for you, the learner completes the course, has a certificate for a year, and when the certificate expires, 
the system will reset the progress of the user so they can take it uh, again uh, from the beginning. So it's great for compliance training. It, uh, it's available to all uh, plans. So you can use Talent LMS, your own certificates to offer compliance training as well. So these were some really good questions. So thank you everybody who shared your questions. We really loved answering them. And again, we loved uh, having your questions on the chat and having Mary share her expertise with us. But now let me just show you how you can contact us further. So you can always send us an email training team at talentlms.com that is our direct inbox and you can always write us any questions any suggestions anything that you would like to share about your experience with talent lms and that we can help and answer and also we love to hear your feedback as well so we can answer your questions but we would love if you could answer ours there is a survey right now on the chat and this is how we can communicate with you and get your feedback on this session on what you would like to see in further sessions and you can help us develop webinars that you would like to attend and lastly talking about webinars what comes next log in into our website basically visit our website login into your portal but visit our website talentlms.com forward slash webinars and that is where you can see our past sessions like for example the branded webinar that we shared before and more and also you can see our upcoming sessions and we have lots of different types of webinars we have these type of feature webinars where we discuss topics with you and we have short ask us anything webinars as well where you can start the conversation with a topic and then have a full 20 minutes of Q&A where you can ask literally anything about Talent LMS. I'm going to give you a spoiler. The next one will be about gamification. So join us in our websites and we really hope to hear your feedback, receive your questions by email, and we hope to see you soon in one of our next sessions. Thank you, Mary, for being here. Thank you and thank you for participating today. Take care, everybody. Thank you, everyone in the chats, and happy training. See you next time.